A growing number of people are finding film making an accessible way of expressing their creativity. Wow. And the Syracuse International Film Festival recognizes there are now many talented filmmakers all over central New York who crave an audience to showcase their work. Hence, the first annual Syracuse Short Film Festival is born. And joining us tonight with more about the event is director of the Syracuse Short Film Festival, James Domro, and Syracuse Film Office Artistic Director, Owen Shapiro. Guys, welcome. Nice to have Thank you good. both here. My how many, goodness. How, how many filmmakers do we have in Syracuse? <laughs> Do you think, more, James? More than, uh, more than the population thinks. of the city. <laughs> yeah. It's true, though. I mean, it used to be you had to have the right equipment, right. and they're very few and far between. Now, you were saying everything from cell phones to major films are being right. done. Exactly. Yeah. So tell us how the short film festival started. Um, you know, I, I'm a filmmaker here in Syracuse, and I like making films. I like seeing other people make films. So I kind of put out a, a Craigslist ad, and I knew all my little film buddies. Uh -huh. And we all got together, and we're just like, hey, let's just have a filmmakers meetup. And uh, so we all got together at a bar, and <laughs> we just talked about film, different productions, and all that stuff. And then we started working together a little bit more, and it grew and grew and grew. And that started like five months ago. And then one night, one night we're just like, hey, let's, uh, let's do a do film, a film festival. festival. Wow. And, uh, and so it grew. and. Um, Met Owen, and a lot of different things are happening, and a lot of great things are happening as far as the film festival. Now, aside from festivals, really, is there a showcase for short films anymore? I mean, it used to be back in the day they'd show it before like a feature film. Mm -hmm. Well, film festival is a great medium. Right. I mean, you can get in and out. It's a little story. It's about you know anywhere from 60 seconds, about 30 minutes, and it's a great story. Um, there are other short film festivals, mm -hmm. you know, in America mm -hmm. or overseas, international, whatever. Um, but this is the first ever Syracuse thing. We're trying to recognize Syracuse as a great film location. It's got a wow. lot of beautiful locations. Right. Um, You're saying it's all local filmmakers all as well, right? All the submissions yep. were lo And is that what you did? You, you took submissions and went from there? Mm -hmm. We put an open up, we put an open call, and uh, we got more of the submissions than I ever thought we were going to get. You know, I thought it was just going to be a couple of them, sure. but we ended up getting about 50 submissions. Wow. And they're all very, very talented filmmakers and very great short films. Now, Owen, you teach film at SU. At Syracuse uh, University. Uh, right. Are most of your students involved in this as well? Or? Uh, they've been gone during the summer. <laughs> when, I was going to say. When James developed mm -hmm. this, but certainly for future years, we expect to have Syracuse University students and their films in the Short Film Festival for sure. Great. And we do have some of them in the Syracuse International Film Festival with our Carol North Schmuckler New Filmmaker sure. Showcase, which honors Carol and uh, showcases the films that have been made by Syracuse students. Mm -hmm. But we hope that in the future will include all Central mm -hmm. New York students. And there are yeah. short films shown, as James said, in, in film festivals. But, you know, the, the, the net is the place to see short films right. mm -hmm. on a regular basis, whether it's YouTube or some other site. So there is a, a, a need to see these films. There are plenty of opportunities to see them with the new technologies and new media that, and, and social networking that exists. We uh, want to take a look at one of the ago. submissions, right? Sure. Is this one of the submissions? This, that is, we did? this is the opening okay. for one of the submissions by uh, filmmaker Tony Valentino. Okay, let's, no, let's take, take a, a quick look. look at a short film. Hey, let's start. Hey there, uh, Oliver. I just uh, I need one more signature on that last financial report. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Mr. Stanton. It must have... Oh, come on now, Oliver. Call me Pete. How long have you been with us? Six months? Actually, four years, sir. I think you... Yeah, that's great, Ollie. Just, uh, you know, take care of that as soon as you can. No rush. Wow. Oh, very cool. Very Kinda cool. Kind of neat. Yeah. Wow. We're looking forward to we seeing really all the short films. And boy, it just sounds like it's going to grow and grow and grow in the years mm -hmm. to come. Yeah, so. August 14th through Saturday, next Saturday. So it Where? should be great. Uh, great. World Martini <laughs> Bar, Focus Day, <laughs> in Hanover Square. There you yeah. go. Um, from 2 to 10 o'clock. I'll bring my cell phone camera. There, there we go. go. We can, can make, make a film, film while we're at the show. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a lot of films out there. Into the yeah. creativity. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. both of you. Thank you so much. Again, the first annual Syracuse Short Film Festival, Saturday, August 14th. Preview films shown at venues throughout Hanover Square in the city of Syracuse, including the Bull and Bear Pub and the World Lounge and Martini Bar. For more information about the festival and viewing locations, visit SyracuseShortFilmFestival.com. Check out WCNY Connected with us, Ted and Amy. Thursday nights at 9 on WCNY.